Guys who married bridezillas, what happened after the wedding? I had received a call from my sister-in-law that one of her friends was supposed to get married and the priest had passed away the week before. They didn't want to change the date, so they had asked if she knew anyone who could help out. I said sure, when is the wedding? It's supposed to be in an hour. I was on my way home from work and was reasonably well-dressed, so I drove straight to the church. When I arrived, the happy couple had looked at me and asked if I had proper priest's vestments. Um, no, I don't, and if I did, I would probably not be carrying them in my car. The bride had asked if I was able to go buy some and come back. I told her that I wouldn't begin to know where to buy something like that. The groom then told me that if I can't even try, then maybe I should leave. So I left. They ended up getting a priest at the church and told him he had to marry them or they would sue the church for a breach of contract and that it was the moral thing to do. They divorced nine months later when her surprise baby was a different ethnicity than he was. Didn't help that he had a side piece as well.